Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by visualpulse.net. I will be showing you how to make a comparison table so you can compare choices to each other like regular to premium and stuff like that. I have set up just a little uh, thing already, just a simple background and a holder. See, I can just write something in there really quickly. Um, echo. Then we can just write text. Just save that. Go right here, refresh it, and then see it's just in a holder. And so we can just delete that right now. So first we're going to be making the table. So we're just going to put some echo tags in and just go down a little bit and close it off like that. And first we can start off with the table tags. And then end it off at the bottom here, table. And then we're going to make a header, a table header, so T head. And close that off. And then inside the header, we're going to make some table rows, so TR. And then slash TR to close that off. And then inside that, we're going to make four THs, which are basically the same as TDs. So we just do slash th, and this first one's gonna be blank because our thing is gonna be category, and then the each selection. So the first one's just gonna be blank, and I'll show you a little bit later like why I did that. And then we'll do um, th again, and we'll make this the trial. So we'll have the comparing the trial one. Then the next one will be the regular. And then after that, we're going to have the premium. And we'll just make clean it up by getting rid of that line. And okay, so now that's done, we're just going to make the T body, which can hold uh, like the normal content of the body. And this will just make it easier for styling later if we put this in T body instead of just doing TRs and TDs without this stuff so we can do slash T body to close it off and then we're going to add in our actual stuff to put in there like our PHP to run through all the titles of what you're comparing and so we're gonna have to close it off right here that echo tag and we'll just start another one down here so we can put our PHP right in this area All right. now we can put our query in our php query in right here so we're gonna start it off tabbing in to make it look good we can we're gonna name it search it doesn't matter what you name it here so i'm just gonna name it search for all comparisons equals my sql query uh, select make that capital select you're gonna select asterisk to make select everything from we're gonna call our table comparisons and where one which makes it select every single row that's in that table and then we're just gonna close it off like that and we're just gonna comment that for later so finding all the comparisons and then we're gonna make a while loop to loop through all of our rows and make a row in the table actually so we're gonna do while row equals mysql fetch array and then we're going to have this, whatever you named this right here, goes into that. And then close that off to make those two brackets done. And then put the curly brackets right there. And then we're going to want to echo our TR, our table row. And then close that off. And then we're going to add four TDs in there to match our four things up here so if you're only comparing two things or four things make sure these numbers match otherwise your table will be messed up 
So we're gonna make four TDs and slash TD, and then we're gonna put our whatever's in our database. So row, and you can have whatever your column name. So the title, the title of your comparison is gonna go on this first one. That's why I said to leave this one blank to match up with this one. And then the rest are going to be your entries for like the trial and regular and premium. So slash TD. And then we just copy this to make it easier. And we can do trial entry. And we'll just copy that to make that even easier. Regular entry. And then finally premium entry. Get rid of the extra space, and then we can get rid of the extra space, and now we can move over to our actual database. But first, I'm going to show you the layout of what I'm going to do. So this is what I'm talking about: the title. So like support, only premium has the support checked for it, and I just have support, special color, save and export, inbox, chat box, record, and custom skins. And there's a variety of things. And I actually have not just checks in here, I actually have like info. So now we can set up our um, date table. So just go into one of your databases and then create a new table on the database. And we're going to call comparisons the same as this right here comparisons. And a number of fields, we're going to have five one for just the ID, one for the title, another for trial. Another for regular, another for premium. So five, press go, and you should have five here once it loads. There we go. So we're gonna name this first one ID int. Yep, that's good. Two five five. That's the maximum value. And we're just gonna scroll over here a bit and say AI auto increment. Next one is gonna be title. That's gonna be a varchar nine 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 maximum entry, and that's good right there. And then we have our trial entry, varchar 999. And then we're going to have the regular entry. I'm not spelling that right. Regular entry, 999. And then we have the premium entry, varchar and 999. Now we can hit save right here and it'll create your table you can look right there um so now we're gonna insert every row so like each row so the first one is going don't mess with the ID that'll just auto increment by itself so title you're gonna name it your first one right here so I'm just gonna copy that support and we only have a check in the last um premium so you can just leave the other two blank and I'm using brackets right here because I'm just gonna preg replace them and make them into actual images so I'm just gonna do brackets not just a normal check so press go and that'll insert that one and then I can press insert again and do the next one special color and check in the last one And you just can keep doing that. Save and export. And this time there's two checks. So check, check, go, insert, title, inbox, ten, a hundred and unlimited chat box and we have check check record and it's all three are checked And custom skins. Now you can change these to what you're actually comparing. I'm just doing this with you guys. So check and check. Go. And so that's my last one. 
So now I can browse. Those are each of our entries in our table. And so that'll be good right there. Now we can go back to this. And we can add our query to the top of it. Our connect thing. So we'll just get rid of the space right here. Alright, now we can add our MySQL connect and select DB. So we're going to go up to the top right here. And we're going to do MySQL connect, comma, local host, which will be that same for all most of you. And then your username, mine is just user. And then pass, mine is just pass. And then we'll close that off. And then or die. And then parentheses, MySQL error. And then do a little thingy right here for because it's a function and close that off and then we're going to select the database you have it in so mysql select db and my is just test that is like the database you put in and I'll show you where that is in just a second dot or die mysql error I'm just going to copy paste that like so alright now we can go to our browser refresh and now everything should be good and then test see this is the just the um, data was put in test you can put in you can create your own database it doesn't matter why it's just in test and then here's my comparisons table and there's all my entries okay so then there's that now we can style it so it looks really good and I can change all these checks to an actual check like you know check mark picture image so now we're going to go back here and we're going to go to our style at CSS. I already made a little bit of it, our body holder and spacer. And we can go add um, a class to this, call it comparison table equals comparison table. And we just copy paste that over here. Go down a few lines, comparison table, whoops, table, and then we're going to do width 100% to make it stretch across the thing, like so, so we'll file save that, file save that, refresh it, and it'll stretch across the page, and see there's nothing above here because we don't want any label going down to it, and as you can see there's that. Now we're going to replace those checks as you see right here, like this check. So we're going to use preg replace. So first we're going to make the pattern, and pattern equals, we can just use reason that variable just to make it cleaner. So we have to start off with the slash, and then we have to escape the brackets, check, escape the other bracket, and then end it with the other slash, and close that off. And we're going to put that in single quotes. And then we're going to go to replacement. So this is what you're going to replace it to. And I'm going to replace it to a div. And I'm going to put a background image on it. So we're going to name that div class it equals compare check. Or check mark or whatever you're going to name that. Compare check. And then close the div off. And closing quote and that's done and now we're actually going to do the thing so row that's the same variable as you have up here and we're going to replace so we're going to have the row equal the row replaced so we're basically just replacing it and making it say in the same variable so preg replace and then we're going to put pattern comma replacement and then comma row and what that's doing is replacing, it's finding this pattern of check and replacing it with this. And we're doing that to the row. And we're just having the row equal the same thing. So basically, we're just doing this and having the same variable back to the same thing. And so, once you have that done, you can save that.